Hey everyone and welcome to Pax Britannica, the America Lost the Revolutionary War mod for Hearts of Iron 4. It's also a steampunk mod, so we have here the United Commonwealth of America, the Commonwealth of Quebec. This mod released about a year ago, and then there was only content for Britain, France, and Germany. Now though, they've made an update that adds content to America and the Empire of Mexico. Too. Either way, we're playing as America today, and we're going to be doing a cool path where we can be come free through, I guess, a second revolutionary war. I don't know exactly what they call it, but we'll see. Either way, America is in a very unique situation because if America doesn't win the revolutionary war, a ton of other things throughout history change. You could say that for about any major historical event, but this one specifically will make America look a bit weird here. Like the rest of the world isn't too crazy in terms of borders compared to normal. But yeah, this is quite something. We have the Republic of Tejas, the Rio Grande is independent. New Dixie, I have no clue what the lore is behind how this came to be. It's all interesting though, and I wonder how much of it we'll actually be able to take in this second American Revolution. Because we could, of course, take the borders of what's modern day America, but considering the alt history, that would make very little sense. So I wonder how exactly they'll do it. And all this stuff here is what Britain currently owns. And then of course, Alaska is controlled by Russia still in this timeline, along with the Ottomans too, so Russia has quite a few client states. As much as I would like to be a good kingdom for the very creepy looking Queen Victoria at this point, I think we need to do what we can to break free and cause chaos. And there's not a really obvious thing in the focus tree, at least yet, where we can just click a button that says revolutionary war. So I assume what we do right now doesn't really matter. I guess we'll see. And we'll just just start the Mega Corp War for now, playing Stellaris. And then too, we're playing Pax Britannica, the steampunk style mod, so we do have some weird stuff going on here, like our duopods and tripods and quadrupods. All very fun. We'll definitely be manning a full quadrupod army, of course. Wait, and it's Calvin Coolidge. It's just 1933, but it's still Coolidge. He's honestly not looking very good for 60. He's looking more like 75, 80 maybe. This guy looks like he's 17. Ah, uh, okay, news from Britain. Prince Edward has been appointed as governor general. That's great. Good job, Britain. It's like we're having an issue with rebels striking. I'm sure we will be able to deal with that eventually though. We also have this very good national spirit. Edison is still coming in strong 50 years later or so. You know, I think I kind of want the rebels though because we want to start a rebellion. If we're becoming independent, we might as well let Nicaragua become independent. They're an official banana republic. I like how that's an official thing. Why can't we be a banana republic? Wait, we're not even a puppet. We're just in Britain's faction. Tasmanian tiger, gone. China, gone. Uh, the autonomous nation crisis. Maybe it will make people angry and want to revolt. Reds in British parliament. We really do live in a period. A new direction for the empire. It doesn't matter what happens in the empire though. We hate the empire. Maybe the communists might free us though. I don't know what the communists are like in this timeline. Mega corporation bids, contracts for stuff. This is a really common thing in Hoi 4 mods these days. Just the other day we were doing the same thing. It's kind of weird. Let's go with Ford. Yeah, Ford. The mega corporations are very mad now. They've begun building branch offices within our state. We'll do this focus now and I think this focus tree may bring us to the point where we can start rebelling, maybe. Oh, Ireland is trying to become independent. Britain, this is isn't a good idea, you should just let them go, Brit. This is a great flag too. Someone had a masters in graphic design, 11 out of 10, best flag ever. It's straight to the point, I really like it. We're just ignoring the bonus brigade thing too. I don't care, I want us to become unstable. Dubbed synth classical is the new, what type of music are we inventing? Yeah, China steals our name though in this timeline. The United States is in China. We can't call ourselves the United States of America anymore because that would just be super confusing. Okay, and yes, here it is once we completed the last focus.
focus in the branch with the bonus brigade stuff. We unlock this event, which lets us say, wait, let me come to, and then we will switch over to the SCA. We are now the second Continental Army. The features are stuff. We're led by Butler. He's the new George Washington. We're going to make our way back to America. We start with only two divisions, but soon we will have many. <laughs> we only have one research slot, and it doesn't look like we actually inherited the technology, so it would have probably been best if I had just not researched anything while playing as normal America. Oh well, I guess we start off with war immediately, march on the west coast. I don't know how many divisions these guys have, but if they have any more than two divisions, we are kind of screwed. Some of this is weird. Unlocks cowboy research tree and unit. Borderlands? Liberty? Hmm, I guess stability in this mod has a very severe effect on production. Our stability is negative 30%, so we're unable to produce anything. That's kind of extreme. Oh well, maybe our stability will get higher eventually. I don't know, this is kind of crazy. Okay, so I think we're going to be able to peacefully take over New Walden. We have similar interests, we're the same ideology. We might as well peacefully unite. Okay, never mind, they just rejected our offer anyways, so we will have to invade. Also, similar to the Enclave Reborn submod for Old World Blues, where you play as the Enclave and have to hide from the NCR, us playing as the Continental Army, we have to hide from the Commonwealth, so we need to remember to click this button so they don't find us. Anyways, it doesn't really look like New Walden has an army, really, so we should be fine. Butler seems like a very capable general. We'll just move right into their capital. I think they only have one division. Maybe they have three divisions. This might actually be kind of hard. Yeah, this is actually really difficult. I don't know if we've wasted way too much time attacking this one country and we need to hurry, or if it's normal for this to take so long. Either way, we're about to done, finally. We've pushed three tiles into their country. It shouldn't be too hard to get into the capital now. There we go. We've annexed Walden, or New Walden. That's nice. That took a very long time, though. And we've already wasted our peaceful option with one nation because the peaceful option didn't even work. Also, if we keep training more and more divisions, that'll keep making these decisions more and more expensive in terms of political power to hide from the Commonwealth, so we have to be careful with how many divisions we train. So we need quite a few divisions, you know, to actually defeat all of these countries. Yeah, going into New Virginia is a lot better so far. This isn't bad at all. Okay, though, getting into Portland has now become a nightmare. Okay, we finally got the reinforced thing where they just lost, so that's great. We'll do this focus with the funny animation. Okay, this might be a bit easier here because they weren't defending their capital and they're trying to reinforce their capital now, but we should be able to move in there once this pin goes away. Okay, now we have a second research slot. That's great, honestly. Very far behind in research too, so we have a long ways to go. We will, of course, go towards the quadrupod. I love the quadrupod. We will not have enough production capabilities to produce this thing, but we'll try. Now do we have to decide on our politics? We can either have the cult of Butler and replace no voting with single party voting, or we can have a managed democracy with the Continental Congress, or at least the People's Council. This is like the Continental Congress light version. See, and all these focuses are great. Now we finally get to become a real country. We might even be able to make quadrupods. This is crazy though. This ministry gives us 100% extra stability while at war. I guess we can always just switch to it when we go to war. We actually have a lot of guns too now. That's a ton of infantry equipment. We probably don't need to even make infantry equipment anymore. That's probably enough infantry equipment to field our entire army when it gets however big it's gonna get. And see, because we're hiding, we need to keep our battalion count low. So we're going to focus on making elite divisions over making more divisions. That's good. And then that'll use up all of the extra infantry equipment that we've amassed. And yes, they were smart and it is based on battalions, not divisions. So we can't do any sneaky stuff. I'd love to, to put an artillery unit in these divisions. It would make them so much better, almost doubling the soft attack. We just need a little bit more artillery. It seems like it's going to be a little while before we have to go to war, so we probably have the time. Wait, look, there's another guy over here, the Free States Alliance. I guess the Free States Alliance are probably doomed to lose and you're not able to play as them as the player without console commands, but there's an alternative, I guess. Considering Britain's called into this war, though, and Britain's not at war with anybody else right now, their odds of winning.
winning are pretty much zero. Okay, and we completed our first focus tree, a truly American revolution. We will now start here, or I guess we can't start here. We have to start here at the focus that we can do. Great focus tree two. We're uniting America with the seven deadly sins, lust, gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, envy, pride. Wow, this is such a great way to unite America. These guys really got it down. I guess we have so much political power, we might as well start declaring war on these other random countries too. And now with our elite divisions, we should be fine. I wasn't able to put in an artillery battalion, but we do have an artillery support company, and technically support companies count as battalions. So again, we can't cheese the battalion system with that. Lots of stuff just started though. Like there are now a lot of wars everywhere here. I guess places are unifying or something. Union Standard Oil Company. Okay, for freedom, we will start making the quadrupods that we have researched wherever they are. Here, the, the automech tab. Yes, perfect. We will make sure they are very reliable because our industry is terrible and technically shouldn't really be able to support them, but we will make them anyway. We have to do this. This is stupid and not a good idea, but we will do it regardless. Anyways, as we prepare to unify America and build our great quadrupod army that will march across the continent, that is where we're going to end things for today. I'll see you all next time when we continue this and save America forever.